okay right now uh, i have done a lot of things with validation and uh, uh, now i will uh, proceed further and i will create the model model means table for this okay so in this project i will create one more folder and the name of this folder will be model m o d e l what is model the table is called model okay and all the queries i will write inside model file in mbc structure gen is a mbc model view controller in controller i will write the logic and this is my controller code and in model i will write all the queries okay uh, this is not required that uh, i will write all the query i may also write the queries inside the controller but this is not a good practice for the mbc model so i will uh, create a model file and here i will write user model for the user creation okay uh, now create the user model dot go just post uh, post fix the file with the uh, uh, package name this is not mandatory but uh, this is a good practice package model and here i will write the structure for that model okay so i have already done it you can see that uh, okay no not this i will use this one model 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 user model and i will use this one i have paste it here and what is this i will uh, explain this letter and i will use this one also i will explain all and everything later okay okay paste okay now i will satisfy the dependencies this is a package go get has been settled now you can see that there is a gorm package g o r m gorm you will come here you will see that interface and click on this this is a gorm package you will come here and uh, creating model connecting database you will see that these both things are required for mysql in case of mysql so and how to connect mysql there is a string for the connection okay connection code is here so i have already written the code for connection so go get in i will go get go get to install the dependency for package everything has been settled error is gone okay now what is the purpose of this package this one the purpose is that i have one environment file inside it you can see that what is an environment file this is here and i will also explain you environment file copy it and paste it inside the app api folder okay in environment file is uh, start with the dot env and the here we i will mention the our password credential and each and every required thing which i want to make it dynamic okay like domain port okay and uh, uh, user database username db password host okay and here the database name and a lot of things are used here and few things will be used later so i have uh, copy pasted it here so this file go get load will load the environment file the purpose to load the environment file for this package okay os dot get env 
will load that particular variable okay yeah these are db and it will this variable will be loaded inside it and port and host and everything and you can see that this as printf will create a dns like this like this dns and i have created this line okay so this line is right now dynamic and i can check the what is what will be the dns file okay which is same if there is error then panic this and return the database what is this i've created one structure type uh, date type what is the meaning of date type okay uh, create create model declaring model you can see that model means table fields this is will be the table and this will be the field of that table id name email age birthday created at updated at and you can see that these are the common fields for the all tables you must have three fields active created at and updated at it may be possible that active is not required in all tables but created at and updated at is mandatory for all tables okay it is a good practice so i have created one structure which will be commonly used for all uh, tables okay means all models you can see that uh, here database model model okay go connect and user model is here and what is embedded embedded means you can see that here is embedded explain e m b e embedding embedded structure embedded 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 this one you can see that uh, here it is available and this is a structure and I have written author and author were and making it embedded embedded means just this will just copy paste this one and this place okay so i can instead of this i can also write like this and copy this and remove this by this line this one and this one both are same this is the meaning of embedded to shortening the lines of code i we have used embedded okay otherwise my code will be very large okay and what is the purpose of this line type where care when i will create the table by using the code this will automatically create that this field and uh, where care type and this field will be unique type and not null and default value set to one and this will fill type uh, int is a tiny int and uh, where i will not mention the fill type it, it will automatically take the uh, take the number okay and not null embedded this will be date type fields and i am attaching this table uh, this model with the table name and what will be the table name for this okay so i one more thing you can see that this line is also there uh, yes uh, now wh what is the purpose of id id will be auto increment id and it should be uint and this should be capital letter and all the variables inside that structure must be in capital letter why and uh, the table name or mo structure model name uh, must be capital letter start from the capital why actually gorm is uh, saying that it should be capital 
and it will in case of it will create the database inside the database it will automatically small and id will assume as a auto increment id if it is in capital letter okay what is this and it will pluralize the table name inside the table this is called nomenclature it will automatically adapt that the table name inside database is users okay and uh, why it should be uh, start from capital uh, as per the golang uh, there is a concept of exported type exported type means if you are defining anything inside a uh, package in a capital letter then it will automatically available in other projects also, uh, other packages also okay if it is it will be the small letter u then it will be treated as a uh, as a uh, private if it it is in capital letter it will treated as a public okay uh, in case of a small it will be accessible inside package only so now what about that particular uh, about it about the model come to this point what is this in this go connect we are creating the connection of the database and i have previously uh, show that uh, this code is written here for the connection database connection is okay this one and uh, this code is same and here i have created a variable and assigning that value to that particular variable and in entire uh, model model package i will use just this variable uh, to create the connection okay so right now uh, this has been settled and uh, now i will create the table inside database by using the code this is called migration okay so this is my database and creating the database you can see that i have mentioned it into the that and my database name will be post so i am creating the post database post create post has been created but there is no table so i will create the migration for that to create the database and uh, migration you can see that there is code for migration when you come here there is a code and i will write the migration code in main file okay. and i will create model dot sorry db db model dot go connect will automatically create the connection and model dot is when i will save and a i uh, run this you can see that the migration works and it has been created and uh, my model name was singular a small letter and it automatically creates the plural users not user this is the nomenclature of uh, go and when i will show the structure you can see that it id will small every letter is small letter and you can the bfk 250 and big int model number and the int date and time unassigned auto increment automatically creates the auto increment id if it is a small letter it will not create this. Uh, create the auto increment id okay and uh, you can see that this is this can be uh, default value is not null no 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 you can see that i have set it here it should must be unique and not null email email not null okay and is also unique and default value is 1 active for this we have set 
by default user will be active so uh, this migration what is migration migration means creating database table by using the code is called migration it will automatically create the table okay so it is enough and i will go further I'm here right now and my and the code is that now we'll write the code to find a user by email that uh, one user is registering then that user is not already uh, registered with my database so I will check this so I will check this by using this code and in model I have made this function okay I will create this this is already available here okay so I will just counting that user is already available or not okay I right now I have not write the log in future I will do this okay and I will use this one if there is any issue everything has been settled then I will go here zero no user available inside database with the name with this email ID okay and now I explaining this find the user by email inside model I have written that code in go if you want to count the data uh, based on a condition you will you uh, write the code like this user this is my structure and this is model and you will place it here and write the where condition email and active email ID will be checked here and count and that one that what is this this is a just a int 64 variable and you will write like this int 64 it will accept uh, only int 64 okay and the the output will be stored in that particular variable if there is any error with this result then it will the result then there will be zero and it will return the error otherwise it will return the count okay and uh, this is already available in GORM queries if you go to the GORM queries can easily found easily found count You can see that again uh, I will check if suppose that a user is count is not zero 
that uh, user is uh, already registered i will come this point later no, come right now. okay and uh, i will copy paste it here and i will use it here and there is error okay so i have to use this one my error messages are right now not pretty suppose that uh, i am not writing this suppose that writing this equals to nil then what i will use okay i am again checking this and copy pasting this line for the food suppose that user a account is not zero it means user is already exist in my database then i will return that error message okay user is already registered i will cover these all thing later and return user already exists in database okay that's good and further if i i will proceed further and uh, i have to encrypt that password to save in database i will use this for encryption and i will use this error message in case of encryption error encryption error there is an error, error and uh, this is already written in my code in uh, common in helper encryption code okay, what it will use what it will do it will just encrypt my password and further at time of login i will decrypt it okay this is clear and uh, now uh, you can see that my mobile number right now is as a string why i am using a string otherwise i cannot validate it this is the problem with the goal go, uh, goaling validation so i have used as a string so i will convert that mobile number into integer and i will use this for this and if there is any issue i will use this and i will not try 200 100 400 I will save the value for this I will use this line this line of code and I will use this this any error
and I will run that particular code. Error has been settled. And I will check if everything is working or not. And I will return that particular value inside that. You can see that it is working. Auto increment ID is created, password encrypted, mobile number, date and time, everything is working. And I will go to my database and you can see that in this table my record has been inserted. Okay, it is working fine. Now I am explaining this one. In this, I have created one object uh, one variable of my user model and uh, every field actually what is the purpose of dto dto purpose was just uh, receive the json and uh, uh, put that json value into the uh, structure and further these input structure type values i will assign the model values every every value is equivalent to that name email mobile number password password is encrypted mobile number is also i have created above and i've created the connection string and uh, you can see that db.create will create the date uh, uh, one record inside table by using the create function okay you can see that here i have code go and explain it create method Create. What create will do? You can see that it will return auto increment ID. And if there is error, result will return the error. Row affected. How many rows are affected by using this? It means insert record count. How many records are inserted? Okay. If there is multiple uh, row, uh, records you want to insert, this is also possible. You can use this. Okay, multiple values can be also inserted inside it. This is also possible. Okay. Uh, so now this structure is right now there is a, some problem with this structure. Every time I am writing this and you can see that I am getting message that one. This is not a pretty way to show the JSON responses. So I will create a pretty responses for this. For this what I will do I have already created and this is not a professional way to show the responses. So for this I have created one more file and see that one more package lib response lib. I will copy this. And I will post it. Inside package live paste. Okay. I have created error response. If there is error, then I will use this function. Success, then I will use this function. Okay and same is already uh, done by me okay. and that one for example user is already registered then I will use this instead of using this I will use this this one you can see that Live error response so it will pretty return me the responses for example i am writing this one this user is already registered if i will try to register again user is already exist and where is coming from uh, user is already find user okay uh, i will use another one this one It will 
user is already you can see that this is a pretty way start here status false message user error what is the actual error user already registered data empty there is no data okay so i will use this so you have to worry about this error message just copy paste it here uh, this is a library functions i have created so you have just copy paste it and use it here so don't worry about these things okay just pass the uh, message and actual error and uh, here the data will be empty okay so i will also use another line here this is an encryption error you can see that Encryption error. If there is a mobile number conversion error, then I will use it. Okay. And suppose that here is also error, then I will also use it. This is error message. Suppose that everything is work fine, then I will use success message instead of using this. I will not use this. I will use this one. You can see that it is working fine. Here I can also pass user registered registered successfully. This is also possible. So, uh, but I am returning the user object, user value. Okay, and now you can see if there is any issue. Uh, and now I am trying to register another user with the another email, Modit2. And you can see that this is successfully created. Status true. Okay error nil and here is the data this is a pretty message and with, uh, this is a professional way to do the things in a structured way if i i will again write this you can see that user error already registered one registered user cannot register again okay the status false this is error and data is empty so this is a pretty way to do the things now there is a uh, in next video we will create the logs log is very important okay and next video we'll try this